guess what? Next week, my friend who actually knows how to edit is going to start editing for me. So maybe the videos will be less mediocre. But moving on from that, what is up, everybody? It is Coach John, and today I will be covering on how to roam effectively. Roaming is a beast of a subject, and I will be breaking it down into three categories. So solo and duo roams, shoot some drones, and full roams. And before I get into that, I want to thank you all for the amazing support on the last two videos so far. I'm starting to stream again on Twitch. The link is in the description. If you have any questions, please at me on Twitter or DM me and I will do my best to respond. And that accounts the comments too. So what is a full roam? Well, S the SSG Clubhouse Roam is by far the best example. SSG has at least three members of the team off-site. Two on the top floor, one on mid, and two below. They have committed multiple reinforcements to the top floor of mute jammers and castle barricades, as well as mozzie pests, etc. And they are committing a significant amount of utility and manpower off-site. That's what a full roam is. There are other maps where this is possible, but by far the most famous is the SSG roam, and that's what I'm going to sort of focus on. Now, how does one do a full roam? Well, they are exponentially harder to pull off than any other roam as a solo or even duo. A full roam requires a highly coordinated team, and that means you have to be on the same page and working off each other. While a full roam can be highly beneficial to a team as clearing out three roamers with that much utility upstairs or downstairs, wherever you are, can be an incredible challenge and it uses a lot of time if played correctly. The issue is, is that a lot of teams, um, they don't cover all the spots that are needed, and their rotates are cut off, leaving the defenders stranded and without cover. What I'm going to be focusing on is how to execute a full roam, and not so much when it goes wrong. I might cover that in another video um, in the future. When it comes to designing a full roam, I like to focus on intel denial, rotations, and intel. I will show a tier list of ops that work well on a full roam um, on the screen right now. Blue Recruit is just Oryx because I couldn't find anything else for him. Um, and Wamai and Goyo are not on there um, for some reason. So if you look at, for, at some of the ops I have up there, they all have shotguns, intel denial, or intel gathering potential. For example, oh, Mute is an excellent operator. He can make rotates and deny intel which is super powerful on the roam. If they can't drone you out, then they're peeking blind, and it slows that roam down while also giving the defenders an advantage. Now, one thing that might stand out to you is Oryx. Since Mozzie lost his shotgun, there's room for an op who has a secondary shotgun, and with his buff recently, he has become even better. And in a video in the future, I will actually be talking about why Oryx is um, such a good operator um, for roaming on certain maps. Pulse, Mozzie, and Valk are also excellent ops, all providing intel for the team, um, and again, either or even starving the uh, attackers of intel. Now, Castle is the exception here. Other than the shotgun, his gadget... Um, aren't intel providers or intel deniers. His gadgets protect, rotates, and waste a ton of utility for the attackers. And this is why he is so high on the list. The rest of the ops, if you have any questions about, please do ask me in the comments. But these operators like Castle, Valk, Oryx, Mozzie, Mute, are all awesome operators to have on the roam upstairs. Or downstairs, but generally upstairs and it slows that roam down while also giving the defenders an advantage. Now, one thing that might stand out to you is Oryx. Since Mozzie lost his shotgun, there's room for an op who has a secondary shotgun, and with his buff recently, he has become even better. Challenging to do when against a coordinated team, as they will have flank watchers and drones all over the map. For example... SSG, I know, again, keeps a drone in Villa Basement in order to watch for these rotates. So, for example, if I'm playing in a uh, library or something and I drop the basement hatch, they're going to be known. Um, it's it's going to be known to SSG. They'll hunt me down quite easily as they know where I'm going exactly. 
and get that kill on um, common any ops that deny intel or provide intel are best for this setup. I'm not going to go into more detail than that, but it works better on some maps than others, like everything. And again, I'm going to keep saying this. It's about denying intel and gathering intel. And remember, you have to commit utility offsite. You can't just stick three people upstairs and call it a full roam. I've seen streams try to do that. In times, this doesn't work because every part of the map is cleared out. On maps like console and coastline, they often enter the third floor for a basement defense. So, you know, trying to hide an admin office generally won't work. Um, though on larger maps, theme park, villa, and Oregon, you can actually get away with this sometimes, but very rarely, just because teams are so good at collecting intel, and they rarely ever misdrone anything. Thus, the solo roam, whilst um, the easiest to coordinate, is often the least successful in high levels of comp, because it is essentially a 5v1, or something to that effect. The main takeaways here are hit and run along with lurking. Finally, we have shoot some drones. Pretty basic, so I'm not going to give it a lot of time. But basically, this is sending someone at the beginning of the round to go off site and be spotted, as well as shoot some drones before falling back to site quickly. This is just about confusing your opponents, projecting a roam, forcing them to drone out the map and check it to see if there is someone there, wasting time, and also damaging their drone economy.